I'm going to try to explain the different rings on the RWR and what they mean. The outer and the inner. So the outer ring basically tells you that there are emissions out there. There are radi there's radiation out there, but it's not lethal to you. So this 30, this 29, this 23, this 10 is not lethal to you at this very moment. When you move on the inner ring, it has, has the 31 and the 25. So these two are within lethal range when it comes to the amount of radiation coming off of the of the rate of the radars. So if these two are on the inside and this diamond right here means it's a priority threat, so this would most likely mean that the 31 is locked on to your own ship right here. The 25 just has the amount of radiation and the scale of threat when it comes to the radar because the 25 can reach out really far and it has fast missiles and goes really fast at high altitudes so that's how it prioritizes what aircraft needs to be on the inner ring based off of the amount of radiation coming from that emitter a couple more pictures here to show you so in this picture see how that has the SA-10 so this SA-10 is I'm about to hit the ring the threat ring of the SA-10 that's about 55 miles or so so this SA-10 is 55 miles away this is the search radar, which is searching, and it sees me, but it's on the out outside ring, being that it's not not a threat to me, but it's the RWR is making it known to my to its location, or its azimuth in this case. This F-16 is obviously friendly, but the amount of radiation coming off of its off of its radome and radar is is very strong. So that means that it's if this was an enemy, it would be a threat inside of this ring here. And a super, uh, really close threat because it's on the, the inner inner ring. In this picture, you can see that there's a 10, there's two 10s, there's a flat face, flat face, and that 16 is there. You notice the 10 has migrated to the inner ring here. So this is the search radar, and this is the fire control radar. So being that the fire control radar turned on, that means this is now a threat, and I should worry about that more than anything else. So once it moves to the inner ring, it's not a priority threat, but it is emitting, the, the fire control radar is emitting, and that it, the RWR has, has deemed that as a very high threat. In this picture, it has a, a diamond around the, the SA-10, so it's a diamond around the fire control radar, and the 10 search radar is still in the outer ring. But this is on the inner ring, and it's locked on to me. And in this scenario, you have to assume that the SA-10 has launched onto you because there are no launch warnings. Once the SA-10 moves to the inner ring and starts locking onto you, and you'll hear the, the, the lock-on tone of an SA-10, that means you have to assume that it launched you and you must, must uh, at least turn away from it to get outside of the WES. Here's the last picture. As you can see, the SA-10 is on the inner ring, but I am just inside of the, the threat circle here, 30 miles, so 30, 20, 10, about 10 miles, about 8 miles in, so 47 miles away from the SA-10. Even though I'm 47 miles, the threat of the SA-10 is very high, therefore it moved to the inside. So with all of that being said, please do not get confused of the, of the RWR depicting range. It is relative range, but it's not actual range, being that this SA-10 is 47 miles away, but it's on the inner ring here. So please do not get the RWR confused to de depict range and range only.